I define an authentic business as a business that you honestly want, a business that you really, really want without any facade, without any lies to yourself, without any you know, fake expectations and also borrowed and unfit strategies, insincere things that are not meant for you. Um, I define it as a business that where when you see something, you can admit it quickly. Um, and I want to share with you the example of one of my clients who, um, who in the recent days was emotionally um, troubled. He, he had to go through a lot of emotional labor because he was dealing with uh, a new supplier um, that uh, you know didn't start the relationship in the way that he expected, and um, and he's trying to convince himself that this relationship is going to get better over time. And I helped him by realizing that um, deep inside him, if he honestly listened to himself, um, he could hear that he believed that this relationship would not, would not change. You no, know, typically, typically we 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 tend to see that what you get in the first moment of a relationship is what you will get for. Uh, forever, uh, people don't change that drastically or or that 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 quickly. Um, that's why I encourage you to look at your own sales process as a sample of the work that you will be delivering. So this is what an authentic business does for you. It's a business with which you have the courage, we have the honesty to realize that things are the way they are and that they might not change. Uh, drastically over time that you kind of have to accept adapt to the situation where whether it is when you uh, work with a new vendor or supplier or on board or hire somebody new or try to work with the clients you know if, if a client is a bad client for instance um, you know may, maybe you you shouldn't try to change this client you should just realize that uh, you just need a better client that's another example I want to share with you so I hope that uh, this helps you reflect on your own definition of what your authentic business is about and that it makes makes you really more honest with yourself with what you, you're seeing around you, right? Whether it is from the, the buyer side, from the sales side, from even money, you know, and another piece here. I didn't, th I didn't plan on talking about this, but let me add this to this video. Uh, money also is a very typical area where we tend to hide the truth to ourselves. We don't want to we don't want to realize that cash flow is not the one we expected. Um, we thought we were make, going to make money another way and and we we're making money this other way and it's it's hard sometimes for a founder and a company leader to to be honest with themselves and realize that the money expectations have to be reset, right? So but the sooner you do it, the the more transparently you do, you do it, the better off and the more authentic your your business is going to is going to be and the more rewarding your your business is going to be it's like you know your business is like a has its own entity it has its own mind sometimes and if you treat it re with respect um just like another uh, being an adult um or anyone else uh you're going to be surprised how well it treats you back i hope this is helpful as always i welcome your comment and question about this this topic of uh, honesty in business